Hi students, today I am going to explain how to compare the EMF of the two cells using potentiometer. So, to perform this experiment, I need a, a rheostat and a battery eliminator and a Daniel cell and a Leclerc cell and a DPDT switch and galvanometer and a jockey and a, a plug key. And then we need a connecting wires to connect these devices. So, using this apparatus, I am going to explain how to compare the EMF of the two cells. First, I will explain the theory part. The principle of the potentiometer is when a constant current flows through a, a wire of uniform area of cross section, the potential drop across any length of the wire which is directly proportional to the length. So, the proportionality symbol is replaced by a, by a constant k then V equal to K into L. Therefore, V by L equals to K. So, this K is called potential gradient or potential drop per unit length. So, using this principle, I can simply write my EMF of the cell 1, E1 equals to K into L1. The EMF of the cell 2 equal to E2 equal to K into L2. Next, the comparison of the EMF of the two given cells E1 by E2 equals to L1 by L2. So, using this circuit diagram, I am going to explain how to compare the EMF of the given cells. So, this is the potentiometer 1 end A and B. So, the distance between A and B is 10 meters or 1000 centimeters. So, the one end of the potentiometer is connected with my battery eliminator and a plug key and a rheostat. The another end of the rheostat is connected with the point B. So, this is a rheostat, it is to control the amount of current flows through the potentiometer. So, this is my DPDT switch. So, from the middle of the middle end of the DPDT switch, I am going to connect with my potentiometer. So, from this end of the DPDT switch, I am going to connect with my galvanometer and high resistance from the jockey. From the top end of the DPDT switch, I am going to connect with my E1. From the bottom end of the DPDT switch, I am going to connect with my E2. So, using this table, I am going to compare the EMF of the two given cells. First, I will explain the connection. So, from the point A of the potentiometer, it is connected with the battery and a key and a rheostat. From the another end of the rheostat, it is connected with the point B. So, in the potentiometer, we have two points, this is my point A and this is my point B. So, from the positive end of the potentiometer, it is connected with the positive terminal of the battery eliminator. From the negative terminal of the eliminator, it is connected with the plug key. From the another end of the plug key, it is connected with the bottom end of the rheostat. From the top end of the rheostat, it is connected to the point B. The next connection is this DPDT switch. From point A, we are going to connect the middle of the DPDT switch. So, from point A, we are going to connect the middle of the DPDT switch. So, from another end of the middle, this point, it is connected with my galvanometer and the high resistance and the jockey. From one end of the DPDT switch, it is connected with my E1, the another end of the DPDT switch is connected with my E2. So, this end of the DPT switch is connected with the Leclerc cell. This end of the DPT switch is connected with the Daniel cell. So, if I close this switch in this direction, my Daniel cell is connected. If I close this switch in this direction, my Leclerc cell is connected. So, using these connections, I am going to explain how to compare the EMF of the Leclerc cell and Daniel cell. So, now I am going to switch on the battery eliminator and a Daniel cell and a, a Leclerc cell. So, now my Daniel cell is connected, my E1 is connected here. So, if I place my jockey at point A, this end, I am getting right side deflection. If I place my jockey in this end, I am getting left side deflection in the galvanometer. So, my system, my circuit is working properly. 
so if i get my one side deflection in the galvanometer there is a problem in my circuit first i am going to find the balancing length so if i am moving from point a so i am getting right side deflection only from here to this point then i am moving from here to here so even in the second line also i am getting only the right side deflection so i am moving to the third line so first one is 100 to 200 and now i am moving to the third line if i am moving to the th third line Although the galvanometer reading, so I am getting 0 in this point, I am getting 0 in this point. So if I measure this length here using a scale which approximately though we are in the third line. Which means from here to here 100, from here to here 200, 200 and 249.5. So approximately 249.5. So this is my balancing length of E1. So the first L1 value is. 249.5. Now, I am going to connect the cell 2 using DVD switch. So, now cell 2 is connected. Now, I am going to measure the balancing length. So, if I place my jockey here, I am getting right side deflection. If I place my jockey here, I am getting left side deflection with the galvanometer. If I am moving from here, this end and from here to here and then if I move from here to here, I am getting right side deflection only. If I am moving in this wire, I am getting what? If I am moving along this direction, it is going to be left side and if I am moving from here to here, I am getting right side deflection at this point is going to be balanced. So, this length is 1, 2, 3, 4, fourth line. So, 100, 200, 300, 370, 327. So, this is in fourth line. 1, 2, 3, 4. Fourth line, 327. So, my electron cell is balanced by 300 and 27 centimeter length. So, this is how we can calculate the balancing length. So, using this L1 and L2 value, we are able to find, we are able to compare the E1 and E2. So, next, I am going to vary the rheostat current here. Slight change in my rheostat value. And then now I am going to connect my E1, my Daniel cell again. So now I am going to find the balancing length again. So right side deflection, right side deflection, here also right side deflection, here I am getting left side deflection. So from here to here there is somewhere balancing length. So, the shows zero deflection when my third line 100, 200 from 200 to 240. So, in 240, I am getting balancing length for E1. So, 240, this is my second observation and then I am going to connect E2 using DPD switch for the same rheostat value. So, now if I place here, I am getting right side deflection. If I place here, I am getting right side deflection. 
here right side deflection in this wire I am getting left side deflection. So, my balancing length lies between your third and fourth wire. So, if I am moving from here to here 100 and 200 and 201. So, the ratio is 300 and the value, the balance length is 316 approximately, 316 or 317, one second, I check here, 316.5. So, now the balance length is 316 316.5. 16.5. So, this is how we can observe the values for the various irrestrict value. Next, I will explain the calculation part. So, if you are taking the ratio of L1 and L2, that is equals to E1 by E2. So, if my L1 by L2 equals to 0 0.761. In the next observation, L1 is 240, L2 is 316.5. So, if you take the ratio of this L1 and L2, I am getting 0 0.759. If you take the average of these two values, I am getting the value of 0 0.76. So, the, e, the ratio of the EM of E1 and E2 is equal to 0 0.76. So, this is how we are going to calculate the comparison of EM of the two cells. So, the theoretical explanation, I have already uploaded a video. I will give the link in the description. You can check it out. If you are like this video, you can share with your friends and subscribe to the channel to get the regular updates. If you have any feedbacks, write in the comments. Thanks for watching.